Some whistleblowers in the government just prove to the world that aliens actually exist. The technology that we faced was far superior than anything that we had. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft. If you believe we have crashed craft, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human. But I'm not impressed. Because last year I did my own alien research at Gonerfest in Memphis, Tennessee. And by that I mean I asked all the bands if they believed in aliens and we talked about it. We've, they've been in contact with most of us already. But somehow my interviews must have leaked. Otherwise, how else would this whistleblower know this stuff? Anyways, I am now releasing my interviews to the public so that everyone can finally learn the truth. No questions about music. I only want to know the kind of shit the government doesn't want us to talk about and get into the minds of today's best underground rock bands. This is getting deep at Gonerfest. You're talking something that can do whatever it wants and leave, and there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing. All right, here I am with Snooper. So, aliens, do they exist? Absolutely, yes. 100%. I believe in them. We're all MUFON supporters. Cool. A weirdo from Memphis. Aliens, do you believe that they exist, yes or no? Are we the only ones in the universe? Go for it. I feel like aliens are here, but I feel like everybody's so far away from each other that we'll never get to say what's up. We are here with Shannon from Shannon and the Clams here at Goner Fest. Welcome, Shannon. How are you doing? I'm good, but I'm feeling very inquisitive. Ask me anything you want. Okay. Give me that. How old are you? 36. Why are you doing this? Aliens? Um, I don't want to go to space. I saw signs in the theater with my parents, which required them to sleep with me for a couple of weeks. It's Saturday night. We're taking shots at Goner Fest. My 15th one. And I'm sweaty as shit. Why are you doing this? To put on the internet. Wait, but why are you doing that? For fun. I'm here with Research Reactor Corps from Australia. We're here. Sydney, That's baby. Right. Yay. Oi, oi. Oi, 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 oi. First show in America, I hear, right? My first show internationally ever, baby. How'd it go? I thought it was fucking awesome. The dude threw a fucking beer can that hit me in the center of the fucking head. Memphis rules. Fuck yeah. I, I'm speechless. I, I... No comment. Speechless. He's lost his voice. Yeah, yeah. Aliens, yes or no? Hell fucking yeah, dude. Yeah, oi. dude. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah. I've seen them. We've seen them. We've seen them? We've seen the shapeshifters. Out, out in the outback. Yeah, the outback. Should we contact them or should we be scared that they are going to kill us? We've, they've been in contact with most of us already. But should we risk contacting them or should we be scared shitless because they could kill us like ants? We bring them to Gonerfest. There's a big ass monster in We hang, yeah, we hang. What was the question? Do we hang with them? Do we kill them? What do we do? Oh, chill. They're chillers. I feel like the aliens should be scared because, I don't know, Americans are pretty rough on planets. They yeah. should steer clear. In your opinion, should we contact them because they could want to kill us or do we let them be? Do we fuck them? No. That That's a whole other question. Do you fuck the aliens? We should fuck them but not contact them after. Is this your calling? Like, Well, not specifically interviewing people at concerts. What's your second calling? Making music. Making music. What's your second calling? Making music. Making music. Making music. It's very Memphis of you. Are we living in a simulation? Me personally, I'm living in a stimulation. Okay. Stimulation is just, you know, something that, that motivates your body parts to function and, and move around and, uh, you know, impulse. Stimulate is to motivate, to not assimilate. I'm just trying to think of words that rhyme. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally talking about the matrix. I'm more concerned with the mattress. Simulation theory. Are you being played like a video game by a 12-year-old alien right now? No, because I still have to go to work and pay bills all the time. Does that not mean then that your player just sucks at playing this game? Fuck. Okay, you can interview me now. Okay, so Shannon, a monkey and a typewriter. Have you heard of this? The monkey is given. I'm into it. If a monkey is given enough time, they will type all of the works of Shakespeare by accident. Do you believe that? Wait, 
wait, wait, what? I have to, you are asking me uh -huh. if I believe that if a monkey had a typewriter until the end of time, yes, he would at some point type Shakespeare. By accident. All, like, Fuck perfectly. No, perfectly. I don't believe that. Do okay. you believe that? Good God. Some people do because it's- Young a, man. It's, a, it's, a, it's supposed to- No, you're wrong. It's supposed to illustrate how no, in, the infinite, infinite time and stuff. He would need all these um, people to coax him one way or the other. But, and uh, that but, would take a lot of work and everyone around us is stupid idiots. <laughs> Meaning of life? The meaning of life is to do something quick because you won't be here for long. Thank you. When I think about the big picture, I want to encapsulate all the cool, freaky, interesting artists that make shit unique and make music good, and I want to hold on to them. Is this VH1? No, it's Ryan Shorts on YouTube. What's the meaning of life? Have fun and don't die doing it. All right. Oh my fucking God. What's the meaning of life? What's the meaning of life? didn't have an Alright, chicken or egg? Team chicken or team egg? Which came first? Let's go. Chicken. We have four. I love chickens. Huge chicken freak here. Shout out the chickens. Um, Mooney to Dana. And um, Ruth. And Ruth. <laughs> Breaking news. Super has four chickens. Chickens are the closest living relative to T-Rexes. It's sick. They taste better than eggs. Chickens love eating eggs. I put some worms in it in the morning. I serve it up for my chickens. People think it's fucked up, but they love it, they love it, yeah. Breaking news, chickens are cannibals, holy shit. The egg came first, maybe wrapped their eggs and slowly wrapped there with a few feather eggs and then chicken, you know. Maybe like Velocity chicken and then chicken, but that's because I believe in evolution. It's an endless conundrum. Uh-huh. Goat alert, we got a goat alert. Goat alert, goat alert. Goat alert. What up, baby goat? How you doing, dude? What's your goat's name? Luna. The trolley dilemma. There's three people on the track and Luna the goat. You have control of a lever. It's going to kill them if you don't do anything. But if you do pull the lever, it's going to kill one person. You're responsible for their death if you pull the lever. But if you don't do it, then three people die. What do you do? Run away. You just crash that shit off the tracks and take yourself out. So sacrifice yourself so you don't have to have the moral quandary of being responsible for these people. We would kill Goner Festival. I would be indecisive and probably accidentally kill everybody. Trolley problem, yes or no, you pulled the trigger. I suffered severe brain damage and a jet ski accident, so I'm not good at problems. Okay. You pull it. No, there's the uh, the bystander effect, where everyone's just watching this horrible thing happen. I don't believe in that, so I'm, I'm pulling the lever. Ah! Does it change it if it is someone you know? <laughs> it's Santa Claus. I will pull the lever. Cole Wheeler would murder Santa if it meant saving three innocent strangers. You heard it here first. Cole Wheeler would murder Santa. Cole Wheeler would murder Santa. Santa. The best you one. You asked me the deepest question you were looking for. Uh, pretty much almost all of them. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Give it to me. Give me more. Check this out. When you're surfing through TV channels and you see TV static, that's leftover energy from the Big Bang. You're welcome. Wait. Whoa. Okay. I'm learning shit here. See, it's my theory that like the ducks in apartment complexes in Memphis are a totally different species of duck at this point. Okay, wait. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is actually one of my favorite movies. Uh, I actually see it every dawn. <laughs> Wow, that's a two and a half hour movie, King Kong. I'll alternate between Dawn of the Dead, yeah, Planet of the Apes, Dawn Knots. <laughs> my underwear is Dawn. Is it really? Oh my god. Well, wow. he actually has Dawn underwear. Wait, this is about you. I just looked at these papers. <laughs> so soft and crumbled. The ducks in apartment complexes in Memphis are different from regular ducks. They evolved from like dodging East Memphis traffic and, and eating trash out of dumpsters. I don't think they eat like duck food anymore. Time is a flat circle, man. Clams, this is about you. Clams have souls. Uh, Do clams have like, souls? Yes. I actually don't think they have souls. All right, you're in reverse from Shannon the Clams. You're talking about humans that are in the band? Oh, of course they have souls. Yeah, they yeah. do. Uh, hey, thanks for coming out, everybody. I'm glad you're here and, uh, you know.
Hey, get off of that. I gotta take care of this. All right, I understand. Well, I hope you enjoyed this alien research at GonerFest 19. Thanks to all the bands for participating, and I'll see you this week at GonerFest 20. But before we go, Billy from Research Reactor Corps has a message he'd like to leave you with. I do a lot of drugs. This has been getting deep at GonerFest. Ozzy, Ozzy, oi, 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 o